This is the Extra Point Podcast from Arizona's family. Well, the sun did come up today, but it has certainly set on the suns for the summer. It it feels like a long, cold winter here in the desert as the suns. Will this be a summer of change? Uh, We're all pretty frustrated about it, so we're going to bring in our our star-studded panel right now to help sort sort this thing out. It's our suns support group. Here's Paul Horton and Chris Hilliard of Arizona's family. Gentlemen, uh, how are you today? I'll let you answer that. (laughs) Well... You know, I mean, you always have to prepare for the worst, so you just go into it knowing that they're a number one seed and, you know, nothing's given to us. But at the same time, it it's um, frustration, I feel, for Booker more than anything because, like, he gives 110% every single season, every single season. He does everything under the sun, and when you have a guy that's scorching and shooting at over 60%, I... What, what happened yesterday? He wasn't shooting that great yesterday. Well, no I mean, was. I mean, and I understand that, but like, it's just like, is he supposed to be Hercules? And like, you know, he put up numbers that were better than Michael Jordan's for like, or like in the span of like 10 ga- playoff games and stuff. So he needs, he's needed help. Like we've known this for a long time. Well, and and he, he's, he's not Michael Jordan. He's close. He's not. <laughs> he's not he doesn't have any titles, but I, in my opinion, he should have talked to the media today. He should have talked to the media. Okay. I don't blame him, though. I bet he was in pain. Right. What are you going to talk about? You know, one guy who I think can offer some perspective on oh, talk of the media. He grew up here. You know, I think, I think is he here? Let's Hold call on. Let's him see up. if he's here. It's David Caltabiano. Yes. Hello, David. Dave, Dave, do you like the Fine. Suns? <laughs> Listen, first of all, Chris, I love you, buddy. But what a PR answer. You, you don't expect <laughs> to get blown out by 30 points back-to-back years. Up for playoff exits. Listen, as a Phoenix Suns fan my entire life, I, I expect uh, some form of disappointment. I, I expect coming up short. We've seen it time and time again growing up, right? The San Antonio Spurs knocked us out. The, then the Dallas Mavericks. You expect not to all the way as a Suns fan. But it shouldn't be the new normal to get blown out. Blown out back-to-back years. And I, listen, I'm the biggest Booker fan there is, okay? The guy sucked yesterday. He did. He sucked. He, he did. Points. What about 12. Kevin Durant, too? Oh, my gosh. Well, Durant, the I whole suck. series, as far as turnovers go, like, I mean, I and that's the one thing is that we have um, one of our sports editors, uh, Joe Ferris, he's a Golden State fan, and uh, he was just saying, however good you think Kevin Durant is, he's better. And so I was expecting that. I was expecting, like, okay, he's got to take some time to get used to the team and stuff, but I, I don't know, like, this – apparently this is not my words but when some people are saying he's a top five nba player of all time i do not see that here in phoenix whatsoever so Kluner, here's what's going to happen okay my prediction all right uh deandre aiden's not going to be on the team wow the man caused the funk last year yeah and then he caused the funk again this year well he just said he literally just said he loves playing here and there's no, no, nothing no, 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 wrong no, no, no. with his relationship with Monty Williams. He's just making After it they look, were not talking last time. He's just making it look rosy because he's moving to Indianapolis. Okay? You're calling it. Yeah. Enjoy Indianapolis. Okay, Cult I said Biano, that on the air you, earlier today. Cult Biano, what do you feel about DeAndre? And because I know I am like one of the very few, even though I'm an ASU product, I'm a very few eight and defender in some ways and stuff. So Give after up. all this? Give up. Give up. You can't defend it. <laughs> you Andy. can't? What? You cannot defend. No one Oh, yeah, a little okay, bruise. Am, am I alone? Am I alone here? So, McLuhan, yes. are you going to, like, what, what do you think? Like, am I alone with Aiton being the sole responsibility of all the Suns' problems? Look at how we did without Aiton yesterday. Like, look at that. Like, what do right. you think, the, So, it's not the sole responsibility, but the guy has had his fair share of disappointing games. Lack, all we want as sports fans, if you watch your team, the number th- one thing you want is effort. Yeah, That's just try, want. dude. Yeah. Yeah. You want your guys to try. You want them to try through adversity. All I have to say is this. DeAndre Ayton, bruised ribs, bruise, a bruise. I have, yeah. I don't know how many bruises on my body right now. <laughs> Could not play in an elimination game. Andrew Wiggins has broken ribs, and he's going to give it a go. Give it a go. Give it a try. That's all I want. Yeah. He's out. Sayonara, Ayton. You know what? You, you know, again, I don't know how he got away with this robbery. I don't know how he convinced anyone to give him that amount of money. $133 million. Let's just hope that there's a team out there who is dumber than we are and will take him <laughs> off our hands. The guy does not love basketball. He, he doesn't so, love basketball. He's he dominating. Wait, wait. So I, no, I, I like that you mentioned that, Cultibiano. So, like, um, another team dumb enough to do these kind of decisions. Ishbia is going to come in. Is he bringing in new guys as far as James Jones? Monty Williams and a lot of the players go, or what do you feel like? I feel he. Well, came I, I in. can tell you what the, everybody said today. It wasn't a no. 
Like okay. with Monty Williams, oh, you know, Budenholzer just got fired in yeah, Milwaukee. Absolutely. Chris Paul, I'm not the GM of the team. I think everybody's feeling this right now. I think the question yeah. is, you say ship Aiden out. You say keep him. Call to be honest, says ship him out of town. And I think if you ship him out of town, you're going to get back a, ba- a bag of magic beans. Yeah. You know, well, I, take I don't it. take the beans. I'll take really. the beans. Dude. <laughs> take the beans. Well, we didn't get anything neck, out neck. of that. So, okay, theoretically, let's just say you guys get what you want. Let's say we get rid of DeAndre and um, let's just say we get someone like um, you didn't have with Turner. Bismack Biombo. Mo- Miles, Miles Turner. Miles Turner. Miles okay. Turner. Bismack Biombo. I'm gonna even say since for some reason New Orleans is high on Zion, we get like Valanciunas and stuff. So let's just say you get a big man. Are our problem solved then? Do you guys feel that? That's all that was needed is addition by subtraction, like the Russell Westbrook with the Lakers. No, but these people would at least try. Okay, so okay. Like, like this is what try I'm saying. He's a, he's a scapegoat, and I understandably, it's rightfully not a so. I, I think. Have, did you watch I the think, cameras? I mean, okay. Here's the thing. Like I said, the the games that we like, I've seen regular season games, and we when we don't have Aiton, we get demolished in the paint. We absolutely, yeah. And like Mark's right, when you have Biombo and Landale as your backups, I mean, like you saw how oh, hard yeah. it was to guard Jokic. Yes. You saw, I mean, Landale did a heck of a job, right? MVP. And Biombo yeah. couldn't keep up with them. And yeah. th- those are the big guys that yeah. are going to be guarding the Jokic's of the world. You're not yeah. going to get a number one pick who might have like uh, you know a fire issue. But I, I, I think, and I would, I want to hear Call to Biano's uh, 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 opinion on this, and then we'll, we'll circle back to you guys. I think you give this one more try with Durant, unless you think you can significantly upgrade. The, the roster here. I think you go Durant. I think you bring back Chris Paul and you give it a go. And if it's not working at the, at the trade deadline next year. So you said Chris Paul, though. Yeah. Yeah. What do you I think, think Colt Do you want Chris Paul? No, I don't want Chris Paul. Me neither. I mean, I like, that's Paul where I agree. Yeah. You got you, you to gotta have Durant. You got to have Booker. You, you have to you have to find a way to build around Durant and Booker. We have a lot of uh, free agents going into this offseason. One of our, you know, a couple of assets, Aiton and Paul. And we have to we have to find a way to make it work with those two guys on a new team we have to find role players that can play around these guys that can defend and shoot three pointers that's the recipe when you have two superstars you need to find guys that could shoot three pointers and that could defend and i'm not too high on this individual but you can get him on the cheap this year dylan brooks is going to be out in the market no 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 no. he's like the paul horton and paul but you have two minutes before you gotta leave right oh okay so you gotta make a point and get out of here right okay yeah yeah okay no Dylan Brooks, please. That's just going to stir things up even more. Get Dylan Brooks and Kyrie, and then get him to, <laughs> and then <laughs> then he pokes, then he pokes the bear yet. again. My um, God, you know, you know how many games trouble. we would have potentially on a certain television station that would be Dylan Brooks versus LeBron James. Oh, That'd yeah. be really fun. That would be. You, fun. Know, what? you, you know what? You can say what you want about Dylan Brooks, and I've said a lot, but you're getting the guy who will always, every second that he's on the floor, he's going to try, and that is something that we need here in Phoenix after the DeAndre Ayton experience for the past few years, okay? I'm sick of watching overpaid superstars who, who c- could even give a darn if they're going to try or not on the floor. I mean, the fact that he watched the rebound go up a number of times and just stood there and watched, bye, Paul. It was the worst <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Paul's left the building. Yeah. Hey, uh, watch the weather with Paul. All right, so last question here because i got to go be on the air too. Um I, I, you know, I, I'm not going to pick against the Phoenix Suns making a run at the championship and almost winning it next year if they can figure things out with Devin Booker and Kevin Durant because things were a little awkward when he first got to Golden State. How do you feel about the Suns' chances next year not knowing anything about the roster? We'll start with Chris. Well, Ishbia, I, I am a huge fan. I like that. I forgot who it was, whether it was my roommate or someone, but someone was basically asking me how they felt about the new ownership. And, man, I am a huge fan. Like, I really hope nothing bad ever comes out with this guy because, like, he came in, you know, he made a donation to Bright Side of the Sun, which is a blog that um, donates to charity and, like, sends uh, kids to Suns games. And he came in, like, off the bat, donated to them. He got Kevin Durant. He is very aggressive. He cares. He cares about this. And I, I like that we have an owner that's like that. So I think we have something good there. Now, as far as what he's going to do with all the rest of the clientele that we've had, I don't know. I really don't. Um yeah, I want to. I I would like to say I have enough faith in him that, like you just said, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, you can make that work. Yeah, I mean, you have two guys there that uh, are automatically, um, you know, scorers. But Dave, you bring back those two, do you just build around them? How do the, what's the Suns' uh, roadmap to a championship look like next year, in your opinion? 
new players around KD and Book, but I can't even say the word championship after I'm I'm numb. I shouldn't be this <laughs> numb after the way that we've lost, the way that we've ended our season the past years. I can't even mention the word championship. We got a clean house. We got to get a new coach. We didn't even get into how the, the shortcomings of Monty. Yeah, terrible. I agree. But we, we got to get a new coach, uh, possibly a uh, new GM. I can't fault James Jones uh, too much, but we, we have to find a way to set, uh, to bring around three and D players and hustlers around those two superstars. But I can't even utter the word championship for quite some time as a Suns fan. Yeah, feel the same way. Uh, are there any holes in the drywall there in the new house? Is, <laughs> is that you kick any holes in the wall? You got some some fresh uh, holes in the drywall last night. Um, you know, uh, and, and you know, you don't want to look at my hands. Talk about bruises. I'm still gonna be able to pick up a pen and work with bruises. You know, because bruises are not all terrain. It's just pain. You just gotta fight through the pain. Hey, you're right? a fighter. You have a it's called Fiona's yes. Corner. Yeah, you're Fiona's you're Fiona's an MMA guru. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, good stuff. We'll let you uh, cruise into your weekend and go uh, forget about the Suns for a little bit. Uh, Chris, championship next year. No. Can, can you can you feel it? Can you can can you can you get there yet? I'm with Colts Piano. I mean, I feel like the thing is is just to try to get us on the right track. Um, as far as working in a newsroom with a lot of diverse people and people from other areas, I appreciate like all the people that we work with, and they're all very good friends of mine. But with them always just constantly kicking me while I'm down with all my Arizona <laughs> sports teams, it's just not been fun. And I mean, I just it's not just me though. I feel like the state of Arizona. These fans, they they deserve good franchises. They deserve it, man. Like these are really good people, and they are good fans. They could come out. They've been loyal. Like as much as people want to laugh at the twenty win Suns, dude. I went to those games, and there's fans that are there and stuff, you know. So I mean, like, uh, I'm with David. We can't think championship, but we just need to start building a good culture. Yeah. So a ray of sunshine in a season of darkness. Hey, uh, Dave. We'll see you, man. Um, Thanks, Mark. We're going to go back to work in the newsroom. This has been a uh, special edition, an emergency uh, edition of the, uh, the Extra Point Podcast. Our son's support group, the Extra Point Podcast, is a production of 3TV, CBS5, and azfamily.com in Phoenix, Arizona.